uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shab, Bashem, Makakadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, Rock and Wa'akwa, and I say Shalom. This is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Isaiah 11 11 through verse 13. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 11, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Paphos, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shardar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Because these are the areas that Israelites are uh, scattered at, and still they are still to this day from the ancient times and modern day times. That's why the Heavenly Father, uh, Yahweh of Israel, is gonna uh, set his hand again to recover the remnant of the Israelites that's located and still scattered over there still to this day. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 11 verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right, the dispersed Judah of the four corners of the globe. I mean, four corners of the earth. And the outcasts of Israel. <coughs> Judah, you know, Judah and Jerusalem. And Israel and Judah. Especially uh, the dispersed of uh, Judah from the four corners of the uh, earth. And it's going to gather back in the latter days. One third remnant. This is uh, Isaiah 11 and verse 13. The envy also of Ephraim, which is the northern kingdom, the top tribe of the northern kingdom. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversary of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not vex Ephraim. It says Ephraim shall not vex Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Right, so they're not going to uh, vex or envy each other because they're going to come back as that one stick from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom the top tribe of Ephraim and the southern kingdom of the top tribe of Judah so they're not going to vex or envy one another not again because they're going to come back together as that one stick as one nation from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of the respectable 12 tribes of Israel of Judah and Jerusalem are going to be gathered back together in the latter days from the areas they you know from the areas that they've been scattered at so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Isaiah 11, 11 through verse 13. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwaf, and until next time, I will say Shalom.